Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Third Person Tech. If you're interested in anything with tech or technical stuff or appliance repairs or tech gadgets reviews, this is the place to be. Today we have a Samsung stove. The oven is not heated. Now, the customer has explained Before that... Before you forget, subscribe right now. Like this video right now. She has now. tried to turn the oven on and the temperature would be stuck at 150 degrees and it would not move. And so what we try to do when we go inside the homes, we try to mimic the situation that the customers explain that they're having. So I got the oven turned on, had it running for a little while, and I noticed the temperature does not move from 150 degrees. So we do have a problem. Please don't forget to like this video and share this video. It does help the YouTube algorithm and please comment down below with any questions you have. Let's go. Well, obviously we're gonna have to empty it. We can't fix it with turkey cooking in the oven. So let's take out all the pots, all the grills, everything, we take them all out. For this particular repair, there's a specific tool that you're gonna need. We'll get to that. But for now, let's get all these stuff out. Out, 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 out. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my drill. And I'm gonna remove a couple of screws that holds down this bottom plate for the oven. Look right there, there's a Phillips right there, there's a Phillips right there. So me, I'm a fast guy, I like using the drill, those screwdrivers, just get it out quick and easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Remove those two screws from the back. When you do remove those two screws from the back. Okay, now you're gonna take your hand, you're gonna stick it in that the two space right there and just pop that panel right out. You lift it up at the back first and you lift it out. Now we have, I think these are also Phillips head screws holding down this cover that's covering the burner. Remove those screws. Make sure you put your screws where you can find them, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so we take those screws out, yada, yada, yada. Sometimes it's rusted if it's been in there for a while. We lift the front up and lift the back out. Now we have the igniter exposed, but we're trying to get to the wires because the wires is what we're going to use to test to see if this igniter is getting enough amp draw. Now for this test, you will need an amp meter or a volt meter just like this. For this one, I got the phenomenal field piece. I got it on my amp settings. Now we're going to turn the oven on in order to see what the amp draw is. A good rule of thumb, your amp draw needs to hit at least 2.9 three is awesome is great that way you know the oven that way you know the igniter is getting hot enough so we're looking at this right now as you can see your amp draw is 2.6 yes i know it's only 0.2 off to the lowest that's acceptable but that is a big difference and so what we have happening here that's no good your igniter is not glowing bright enough in order for the gas valves to open. Now, this igniter that I'm using, you can get it on Amazon or you can purchase the genuine part. I'm going to leave the part in the description below. Now, okay, now I'm going to teach you how to replace this igniter. Now, we're going to remove the bottom panel in this particular oven so that way we could get to the wires. Most of the times you replace igniters on the oven, you have to splice them in, but this particular igniter, it is a plug and play. It is a direct fit. Now, as you can see, the igniter is plugged in right there to that cable. So first we unplug the wire, and then now we're gonna remove the igniter from the inside of the oven, and then we're gonna pull it forward, okay? Okay, so in this particular oven, we're gonna have to remove the entire burner in order to, ex to access the igniter. So we got one screw holding it right there, and we got one screw holding it in the front. We're gonna remove those two screws, okay? First, we start with the one at the front. It actually doesn't matter which one did you start with. I just started with the one at the front, okay? All right, so we get the screw out. As I said, sometimes it can be a little bit rusted. Take your time, because these screws can strip. And we're gonna get the screw in the back that's holding the gas valve. Once we get those screws, we're gonna lift the burner tube forward off of the gas valve. So we lift it up, and we pull it right out, just like that. All right, so now that we have the burner out, we're gonna remove the igniter off the burner tube. Okay, as you can see, the igniter comes on, comes as a direct fit, so we don't have to do any splicing, but you do have these ceramic wire nuts, should in case that you need to do some splicing. Today, we won't be doing any splicing for this one, okay? So I'll catch you in the next video with some splicing and dicing. So I examined the part, make sure the part is good, make sure it's acceptable, and now, now we're gonna remove the old igniter from this burner tube. 
Now this igniter is held down by a Phillips screw and it has some quarter inch or this, this might be a little bit bigger than a quarter inch at the back. And so you have to hold those nut at the back in order to get these screws out. Sometimes I use my finger to hold them to drive it out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, but it's working this time. So then now I'm gonna be putting on the new igniter. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to use your finger. So you might have to get a pliers or something of the sort to hold those nuts in place while you take your screwdriver or your drill and tighten them up okay just like this so i got a little uh bird beak pliers or needle nose pliers holding it that's not the um, exact tool that you would want to use but it's possible to use it and get away with it if you know what you're doing now we got our ignited mounted to the burner tube now we're going to put the burner tube back inside the oven and get this baby on the road we're cooking with gas all right please don't forget to like and share this video don't forget to comment in this video it does help this small YouTube channel now if you look at that burner valve this is where you're gonna be sticking the burner tube to sit on top and slide it right into it please snake the cord back into its creases first and then you line up the burner tube onto the top of the burner valve this is very important okay because you deal with gas right here so you want to be careful as soon as you line the tube up you put those screws back in that you took out but then we're gonna fish the igniter back into the slot that it needs to be in and we're gonna plug her in all right so we're good down there so now we're gonna retest the oven. As you can see, I'm already sitting at 2.9 amperage. That means, let me remove this thing before it burns in. That means in a couple of seconds, this oven is gonna be lit and you're gonna be cooking that turkey just in time for Thanksgiving or whatever it is you're cooking in your oven. Voila, we have flame. We have flame. Please do not forget to follow us on Instagram. Please like this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you live in Long Island, Suffolk County area and you need service, do not hesitate to give us a call. Visit our website.